Okay, so I noticed the other day that somebody was doing some tube work and they just welded straight onto the tube without cleaning it or prepping it. Oils and mill scale sometimes, depending on where you're getting it from. But I mean, I always prep it. So I figured I'll do a quick video and just show you what I do to prep like a 20 foot stick. I'll, I'll prep a whole stick and then use it. So I'm going to show you. The Okay, so here is the tube. Right, so if you can see that, this one is pretty clean compared to what I usually get. I just picked this one, these ones up yesterday. But what I'm talking about is most of them come like that. All that black mill scale stuff and covered in this grease. People are just welding over that, so I figured I'm gonna show you what I do to clean this up. So, here we go. All right, so usually I just take some brake clean, spray it on there. Then I use a DA sander with a 36 or a 40 grit. Uh, paper and then I just go around it until it shines like this and then I take a scotch bright pad and I'll just do this You don't even have to go that hard, just some scrub a little bit, and that's it. Alright, so now let's look at the before and after. There's the before, and then there's the after. And so... Alright, so hopefully that helped you guys. I mean, the DA is not necessary. I just personally like to do it. You can simply... Just use brake clean, a rag, and then a scotch bright pad. And this scotch bright pad will last a long time. This one DA pad, this lasts about a whole stick, maybe two sticks, so it's not too horribly bad. Um, you don't have to use such a high grit. I was using an 80 grit one, but it took like two or three pads just to do one stick. But it was a lot worse than this. Like I said, sometimes they usually come with a, a lot more gunk on it. Thankfully, these ones. We're not as bad, so the clean time is not very long. Well, hopefully this helped you guys, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Got some cleaning to do.